Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's October 26th, 2021. Here are your latest church militant headlines. A Pennsylvania priest has been arrested for attempted sexual assault of an underage male. 42-year-old Father Gregory Lockney of the Scranton Diocese was caught in an underage sex sting last week. Afterward, turning himself in and charged with sex crimes. Why are you here to meet uh, little boys, huh? Stop. Why are you here to meet little boys? Um, you were going to take them back to your house, man? No. That's not you? That's not true. That's not you. That's not true. You Don't touch me, dude. Don't. You're not going to like it. I have security here. Logni is a former seminarian of the Pontifical North American College in Rome and was the first priest in Scranton ordained under Bishop Joseph Bambera. On social media, Twitter is suspending a Republican representative for calling a man a man. Congressman Jim Banks' tweet was censored by the tech giant over the weekend after ridiculing biological male health official Rachel Levine for pretending to be a powerful woman. Banks fired back, my tweet was a statement of fact. Big tech doesn't have to agree with me, but they shouldn't be able to cancel me. If they silence me, they will silence you. In related news, leaked emails show Facebook targeting conservative news sites. Recently uncovered emails show the tech giant's staff tried suppressing Breitbart News and similar groups for negatively covering the Marxist Black Lives Matter movement. The BLM riots in 2020 led to more than 14,000 arrests, an estimated one to two billion dollars in property damage, and at least 25 deaths. In Florida, the state is actively recruiting police officers from other states. Catholic Governor Ron DeSantis confirmed Sunday he's inviting officers who've quit the force in other states over vaccine mandates to come to Florida. Uh, we're actually actively working to recruit out-of-state law enforcement because we do have needs in our police and our sheriff's departments. So in the next legislative session, I'm going to hopefully sign legislation that gives a $5,000 bonus to any out-of-state law enforcement that relocates in Florida. So NYPD, Minneapolis, Seattle, if you're not being treated well, uh, we'll treat you better here. Meanwhile, thousands of New York City's finest are rejecting forced jabs. Yesterday, police officers, firefighters, and other city workers marched across the Brooklyn Bridge in protest of the city's vaccine mandate, effective this Friday. Cities like Chicago reversed course and loosened the mandate after 30% of Chicago cops walked out, forcing the city to now allow twice-weekly testing as an alternative. And in Rome, the Pope is getting backlash for appointing a globalist and population control advocate to a major Vatican agency. Yesterday, the pontiff named Jeffrey Sachs, director of Columbia University's Center for Sustainable Development, as an ordinary member of the, of the Pontifical Academy of Social Sciences. Sachs, who is not Catholic, has been a frequent guest of the Academy and served as an advisor to three UN secretaries general. He's advocated for population control and abortion. The Academy claims he has since changed his views without providing evidence to back that up. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael revisits his interview with a Polish priest exposing the homo heresy. God bless you.